Another interesting thing that can happen when solving equations is that you get down to the very end and you realize that any number that you plug in will actually work. In cases like this, you end up with an infinite amount of solutions. Doesn't really matter what number you choose for x, sure enough, it's good to go. Uh, in this example, I will have exactly one of those equations. And you'll see what happens in the solving process that gives me a clue that there really are an infinite amount. So in this linear equation, let's go ahead and start off by solving it like we would normally solve a linear equation. Our goal is to get our x's together and hopefully isolate them. I'll start off by distributing out. That way I can, can free up uh, my x's outside of their parentheses. So let's see, this will give me a 42x minus 42 equals and let's see, another minus 42 plus 7x. All right, now that I don't have those parentheses to worry about, I can uh, combine a few like terms. 42x minus 42 minus 42, and let's see, 7 and 35 plus 42. At this point in the solving process, notice how we have basically the same thing on the right side and on the left side. That's, you know, one of the clues that uh, everything is already balancing out before we even have to plug in any numbers. If you didn't notice that, then watch what happens when you try and get your x's together. Maybe subtracting a 42 from both sides. There we go. And then we see, since it you know, is the same on both sides, that it would drop out entirely. So it would leave us with just a negative 42 is equal to a negative 42. Now, if that situation happens to you, all of your x's or your variables are gone, then double check your work to make sure you haven't made a mistake. Now, if all of your steps are good, well then look at the statement that's left over. In this case, negative 42 does equal a negative 42. So this is an example of a true statement that's now left over. And it's my indication that uh, I have an infinite amount of solutions, and that in fact x could be any real number. So just like that, uh, I know what my solutions are. Another term for this is you could call this type of an equation an identity. So always be on the watch out for some of these more unusual cases so that you know what you have.